About 16 years ago, a friend of mine was making beer, and I thought that sounds like a lot of fun. So we got a kit, and I started making wine, and just fell in love with the whole scientific process of it. One of the reasons that we started the winery was really for a lifestyle change, and we wanted to really have a lot of time with our kids, and if they were going to be home, they could be at the winery with us, and they, we have a lot of things for them to do here, so they always have fun coming here. Uh, but that was one of the biggest changes, was just to make sure that we could have time with our children if we needed to. We produce wines to really pull out the fruit flavors. Even though it's a grape wine, uh, we'll pull out the, the real taste of the grape, and it's a, you have to have a really good sugar and acid balance, and we try to balance those out so it's not sickly sweet, it's not too tart, and it has a really nice mouthfeel, and, and it makes the consumer take a drink and really feel, wow, I, I'm ready for another sip, I want to taste it again. But we don't want to produce too many wines that you can find on the shelves like Chardonnay and Cabernet and Merlot. Those are uh, real popular wines. We want to produce something that's, say, a red wine that's a blend that's a little different that you can't find uh, just in any store. Our first wine, actually, is what is now our biggest seller, seller which is our Goldman's Gold. Um, that's a wine that we have won um, a silver in the biggest competition in the world, which is the San Francisco International Wine Competition. It's just an in-between sweet and dry, so it's just in that middle area where people who like dry can tolerate it and those who like sweet can also um, enjoy that wine. A lot of the names for our wines uh, were created by my wife. Uh, for example, the Swanky Cat, she wanted one with the name Swanky in it, and we weren't sure which way we, we were going to go with it. Uh, my cousin is, is an artist, and he suggested maybe using an animal with it. So he helped us come up with Swanky Cat, and then he did the painting for the graphic. Uh, the 47 pickup is named after our old pickup truck that we do local deliveries in. And then uh, some of the other ones, like De La Flirt, was actually named by one of our customers. We had a live music event, and the co we had a competition. And this customer said that it looked very flirty because it was pink. So we asked, we were in Delafield at the time, and we asked if he could incorporate the name Delafield into it, so he came up with De La Flirt. I hope we stay a mom and pop shop feel. That's my goal in our future, is to not be corporate, not look corporate, but have this really nice rural feel. And our goal is, is has not been to grow to be this big, huge winery, but to remain a small mom and pop shop. However, demand is forcing us to grow, so we're riding the waves. We're, we're just going with it. You work a lot of hours, but everything you put into it, you're getting out of it, you know, and, and there's a great appreciation. And when you're doing what you love to do, even though there might be long hours, uh, it doesn't seem as long.